Hey everyone, it's Jessica McGovern, your resident careers expert here at Ask Men. Today we are going to talk about ways to be more creative at work. First up, curiosity. You got to be curious, you got to be nosy about everything, even if it seems to have nothing to do with the project that you're working on. You never know what you're going to get. Just keep asking questions, you'll always find something in the end. All right, second up, you want to look in new places. Look in places that your competitors or your colleagues who might be your competitors are not looking. Get in touch with other departments, talk to colleagues who are working on stuff that's totally different from what you're doing, um, get their feedback on what you're doing. There's a definite possibility that they're going to come up with solutions or ideas uh, that will really work with what you're doing, even if what they're working on isn't entirely related to what you're doing. Another really important point is to know exactly what you're looking for. Pinpoint your interests. This way, the solutions will come to you, the ideas will come to you much more quickly. For example, you don't want to say something like, we're looking for new clients or we need new clients. You want to say, these are the kind of clients we need. This is where we need them. This is when we need them. This is what we want to do with them. Uh, the smarter your questions are, the better the answers that'll come. Next up, uh, you want to make sure to set aside time for learning. The buzzword in business at the moment is professional cross-training. So whether it's taking a class in something, learning a new language, uh, stepping in for a colleague who's absent in a different apartment so you can get to know his job, um, what you want to do is basically take on new skills that complement what you've already got. Uh, for example, in Google, employees are encouraged to take one day a week to focus on creative projects. They call it Google's 20% time. Uh, and this way, they just put aside their everyday tasks. They take on something really imaginative, really new. It may not go anywhere, but the ideas will flow and it will inform the rest of your work week. All right, really important, you've got to keep track of your ideas. All the guys who got to the top are the guys that wrote down every idea that they ever had. So you have no excuse, you got the note-taking apps, you got cloud notes, you got the back of your hand if you need to. So as an exercise, write down all of your ideas for, I don't know, a month, two months, go back and take a look over them. You'll be amazed at how many of those great ideas you have forgotten a day or a week later. Don't let any ideas go to waste. You never know when you're going to need it. So this one seems counterintuitive, but really try to talk to people about your ideas. I know the tendency is to think, this is an amazing idea, I'm going to keep it for myself, but you would be really surprised how telling people about your ideas and asking for their feedback can really help to develop something. Even if it's your arch enemy at work, um, everybody has something to say, and you never know when that something might be the key to developing your idea. So I know when you get a great idea, you want to get out there and put it in motion as soon as possible. Try giving the idea a little bit of time to develop. Great ideas need research, they need conversations, they need experience, and they need time. Just because an idea can't be put into action straight away doesn't mean that it's a bad idea. Um, if it's good now, imagine how good it could be with a little bit more time to develop. Definitely there is almost no harm in letting an idea sit for a little while, see what comes of it.